In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform a simple effects analysis. And this can be used when we're doing factorial ANOVAs in which we want to break down the interaction effects. So if we find a significant interaction effect, this will help us determine the effect of one independent variable at individual levels of the other independent variable. So in our example data here, what we've done is we've um, measured someone's fear of statistics using the fear of statistics test and giving a score that the higher the level, the more they fear statistics. And what we've done is before we gave them that test, we had them go through two different kinds of teaching or learning experiences where they either got to improve their confidence level using statistics or we did some math skills with them. And then we also separated the groups by sex, male and female. So what we want to do is find out what the effect is of the group, the teaching technique we used, and how it might have affected their fear of statistics. We also want to look at the effect of sex on their fear of statistics, and we also want to look for potential interaction between those two things. So if we go ahead and run the analysis, and I already have the output here for that, so we ran the analysis, and what we discover is if we look at the effect of sex by itself, we have a non-significant effect. If we look at the effect of group by itself, we have a non-significant effect. And all I did here was run a uh, factorial ANOVA, univariate factorial ANOVA, using sex and group as my independent variables. But what we also see then is we have a sex by group significant interaction. So the main effects were non-significant, but we have a significant interaction. So that means there's a unique interplay between one of the two sexes and one of the two uh, learning groups. So what we want to try and do is figure out where that might be. One thing that helps give us a clue to that is the interaction plot. And we can see here that we have our type of class, math skills or confidence building, and the two lines um, exhibit the different levels of sex, male and female. So as we can see here, when looking at math skills, there's really not a huge difference between male and female. The female uh, mean is a little bit higher than the male mean, but, but not by a lot. When we look at the confidence building, we can see here that there is now a, a large difference between male and female, with females being much lower than males. So because we have our two lines crossing here, that indicates that we have an interaction effect. And so now we want to find out um, if that is significant or not. So what we're basically doing then is comparing these two dots here on the confidence building to see if they're significantly different. And also to see if maybe these are significantly different. So again, we wouldn't do this unless we had a significant interaction. So in order to do this, uh, unfortunately SPSS doesn't allow us to run this analysis through the dialog boxes, so we have to enter in some syntax. And so uh, I've opened a syntax file by going to uh, File, New Syntax, and I've entered in these two lines of code. And so the first line is telling us we want to do a general linear model analysis, a factorial ANOVA, and then the next is entering in our output, FOST3, so that's our I'm sorry, not our output, but our outcome. And then by, and then I list our two independent variables, in this case, sex and group. Now the next line that starts EM means, that specifies the fact that we're, we want to do a simple effects analysis to look at significance in the interaction. So where it says compare sex, what we're basically doing is comparing the effect of gender or sex at each level of the group independent variable, at each level of the different teaching techniques. And I will go ahead and, and post this uh, syntax into the description for this video so you can just copy and paste it into your own syntax window when you want to do this analysis. But again, remember in the first line here, the first section here indicates your outcome and then the last two words indicate what your independent variables are. So let's go ahead and run this analysis. So we click run all and then we'll run the analysis and what we'll see is the same kind of output you would see when you would run a 
typical independent, or not independent, but a typical factorial ANOVA. So again, we see the main effect for sex, we see the main effect for group, and here's our significant interaction for sex by group. Now in order to see the, uh, the simple effects result, we have to go all the way down to the bottom table, which is labeled univariate tests. And so what we're going to look at here is here's our two levels of our independent variable, the math skills um, and the confidence building. And so what this is doing is comparing the scores for male and female at the math skills level. And we can see here they are not significantly different. So male and female, there is no significant difference in the uh, fear of statistics score at math skills level of the independent variable. If we look down at confidence building, we can see here that there is a significant difference now between male and female at the confidence building level. So that's where our significant interaction is, is coming from, that we have a significant interaction between a unique level of one factor, the type of class, confidence building, and then there is a significant difference between our levels of the other variable, male and female, at that level of the type of class. So to summarize, what we did here is we did uh, an analysis in order to examine specifically where a significant interaction might be taking place at different levels of both independent variables. And so we use this only when we have a significant interaction. If we had a non-significant interaction, we wouldn't have to bother with this, and we would just go on and look at where our main effects might be significant. So hopefully you learned something from this technique, and good luck using this in your own research.